This is a sample of emulsified corn oil that I acquired from a restaurant uh, that had a five gallon cube of waste corn oil sitting in their back and uh, the lid had been open so rain had gotten into it and I was able to after about a month of uh, letting the oil sit around with a lid on it uh, extract maybe two gallons of, uh, of corn oil without water in it and then there was about a gallon of water at the bottom that I drained off the bottom and then there was about a gallon and a half of this emulsified corn oil and what I'm going to try doing is adding gasoline to it to see if gasoline will uh, cause the oil and the water to separate. So I'm now going to put oh, maybe a quart of gasoline into this container of emulsified corn oil to see if uh, what happens. Alright, so I've put the gasoline on top, maybe about a quart, and already I see some separation. As you can see, there's a clear separation taking place at the top of the container. of emulsified corn oil and and it, so the separation took perhaps maybe a minute or less and what we'll do is we'll leave this to sit overnight to see what we end up with It's been eight hours of settling and we have two samples. This sample had gasoline added to it and as you can see the oil and the gasoline are joined together and rose to the top and water and other impurities settled to the bottom in our sample of emulsified uh, corn oil, waste corn oil. This is a sample of the same material as this without the gasoline added to it. It's been sitting the same length of time as this sample, let's say eight hours, and there's just a very small line at the top of corn oil arising to the top. So we can conclude that adding gasoline to emulsified uh, sample of emulsified oil and water will pull the oil out of the water um, component rapidly versus gravity only doing the uh, work for us.